I did read uh, just lately uh, a survey, a major survey saying that only 20% of a European, I think it was the European population, thought that uh, e-cigarettes are less unhealthy than smoking. Some even believed e-cigarettes was more harmful than smoking, 20%. And the same type of a vast uh, consumer survey in the United States uh, published, uh, tweeted by uh, Professor Brad Rodo, and it was FDA finance. The FDA survey asked, uh, do you believe that smokeless tobacco could be less harmful than smoking? And only 11% of the US uh, respondents answer the correct answer. Yes, smokeless tobacco is, yeah, could be less harmful than smoking. So we have a gigantic information gap. Because I'm sure the FDA and the tobacco control organs, even the European Union, knows that e-cigarettes and snus and heat, heated products are considerably less harmful, at least less harmful than smoking, and still they don't inform the public about this. I oh, know the public are well informed, they're just misinformed. Yeah, so. but they are not informed on the front page of FDA or the European Union. It doesn't say if you are a nicotine dependent, these products are less harmful. Well, it's, it says it on the Ministry of Health website. All right, well, who, who can find it? <laughs> yeah. To make it more public, that was my suggestion. <laughs> yeah, I think that the, the people and organizations who are against uh, vaping and snus and heat not burn, uh, you know, they are putting out a lot of information. It, it's prolific. Every day there's another fake study and another fake you know, news release and the media love it um, and they, they put it out on the front page so the public are largely being misinformed quite deliberately. Quite deliberately, I agree.